Guys, welcome back to the channel. We're always looking for car culture no matter where we go. So we are here at the Cayman Motor Museum where there's an independent private collection of like 80 cars. Let's go take a look inside. that any of these cars are particularly rare or hard to come by, it's just the fact that they're on the Cayman Islands that makes them really exciting. So for whatever reason, somebody decided to take all these cars, bring them down to the Cayman Islands, and shove them into a museum. What's really cool about this collection is that he didn't just go for the big dog baller cars, they're here, but he also has these killer little micro cars. Check out this Toyota behind me with the Nike drill doors. What's almost more interesting than the cars though is like the little stuff they've got all around the cars. This is a coffee grinder collection. If there's two things I love, it's coffee and cars. The car museum's owned by this guy, something Ugland, his family, they're importer exporters, which always sounds super sketchy, especially if you're on the Cayman Islands. But they've got like those massive Norwegian cargo ships. So he's kind of just amassed a collection of homes and ridiculous cars. So what's interesting is that the cars that he has on the Cayman are probably like the throwaways that are like, eh, we'll just leave those as the island cars. But I just realized I haven't shown you where we're staying yet. So here's a quick house tour. that isn't enough for you we also were gonna go jet skiing but the water was too rough so instead we went condo shopping and found this 6.6 .6 million dollar penthouse suite overlooking the water <laughs> Unfortunately, this vacation is coming to an end, but that means we're heading back up to Boston so we can start working on Eddie's Type R, hopefully improving its cooling systems and making it robust enough for some track days. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to respect the drive. And next time I see you, I'll not be in paradise, probably be at Renscott, which it's not so bad. <laughs>